about going barefoot? Have you tried, but your horse got too sore? How do you know if barefoot will work for your horse? Let's look at biology, some known science that will help us understand why individual animals will sometimes not fit neatly into any one theory of hoof care. Therapeutic farrier and certified in equine rehabilitation, Ann Ramsey, tackles what has become a hot controversy. Should your horse be barefoot or shod? And she examines the industry's current standards for best practices. When it succeeds, it's because of a detailed, thoughtful plan that includes everything from the horse's genetics, their living environment, the trim, the diet, and it usually involves hoof protection. The trim that we use for a barefoot horse is radically different than the trim we would use to prepare the foot for a shoe. The diet needs to contribute to healthy wall attachment. If you really want to understand what's going on with your horse before pulling shoes, ask for radiographs before making any big changes. Radiographs will tell you more definitively what type of hoof your horse has and how healthy it is. 